It's me, LaToya, and I'm here trying something new. I just feel like my vlogs, I mean, I'm not a boring person, but I just feel like vlogs are kind of boring. The way I was editing my vlogs felt very long and drawn out and boring, and I wanna switch up my editing style, my vlogging format, and I kind of want to do things differently. Like a lot of these vloggers are so boring and I felt like <laughs> I was kind of adapting to what everybody else was doing. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that, okay? This is my show and I'm gonna do what I do, okay? Because I'm the one that started this whole vlogging thing anyways. I'm the OG in these streets. I'm the leader of the pack. All right. So anyways, it's time for me to switch it up and you guys can copy me if you want to. I went house hunting the other day. Okay. Hold on. Babe, you would have to do a lot of renovations in here. It's just a no when you pull it up real easy. My grandparents have these floors in their bathrooms. Yeah, once we pull it up, we can reuse it because we can put it on the wall like wallpaper. <laughs> And I know that you're not playing. <laughs> oh my gosh. With my partner, Slick. I've been calling him my partner because I feel like boyfriend is too high school and I'm a grown ass woman. So I went house hunting with my partner. We're pregnant. I don't have a ring on my finger. No, I'm not married. This baby is not my ex-husband Adam's baby. It's the new guy, my new man, okay? I saw a comment the other day talking about, oh, is she pregnant for her ex-husband? And if she's not, then she's a hoe. And I'm just like, I found love in the perfect place, okay? This is my love baby and I'm very happy with my partner. And we went house hunting the other day. nice oh what the this is the whole backyard yeah oh no that's nice what the yeah we would definitely have to put side down it can't be that babe need to be babe yeah. i want to move here i do yeah absolutely because you would make this look so nice and i'm not gonna lie like i'm kind of nervous purchasing a home with my man that's why i've been stuck in my townhouse okay because i don't know what it is i just feel like i'll be starting over again i just feel like it might be too serious but then we are serious because i have a baby on the way okay oh what oh absolutely oh I'm Jim. Oh my God. Content room. This is this is the content That's room. That's fire. Can we turn this into a this way we shoot the podcast. Oh, absolutely. I really love my man. I love Slicky Poo. I love Two Three. I love Earl. He has three personalities in one body. Like I have a new man every day of the week. I well, you should hold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so go ahead. Wash up. You miss oh my <laughs> He's amazing, okay? But I'm also kind of nervous to purchase mm -hmm. a home with my partner. I mean, here I am pregnant and I'm nervous to purchase a home with my man, but I don't know, maybe it's just triggering what I went through in my past, in my marriage, and I just want everything to be perfect. And obviously relationships aren't perfect, but Slick and I have an amazing relationship and I just don't want, I don't wanna put those that energy out there. I'm just gonna remove that out of my head and just think positive because I'm in a happy relationship. The baby's moving. The baby. Oh, it's daddy. 
<laughs> it's your daddy. It's daddy, you. <laughs> Stop. Hey, so when you get here, we're going to team up and we're going to annoy your mama. I mean, that's what all of y'all do anyway in life. Yeah, Everybody. No, no. But me and you, we're going we to take it to a whole nother level. We're going to have like meetings about how to annoy her. And then we're going to have like a strategy plan. And then um, at the end of the year, we're going to go ahead and do taxes. No, actually, we're going to start a non for profit organization so we can get donations to fund our annoying venture against your mama. When did you start feeling the baby move? How many weeks was I? Mm -hmm. I started. I felt the baby move last night. Yeah, I started feeling the baby move at about 12 weeks. The other night. 13 weeks. The other night, the baby was, was mad. Why? I heard the baby say, hey man, what the hell is y'all doing up there? <laughs> Y'all got my placenta sack all musty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, chill out. Shut up. <laughs> We're moving because, number one, our family is expanding and we might be adopting. So I have three kids. He has two kids, three, four, five. I have one on the way, six, and then we might be adopting so is that seven kids oh my gosh i can't do math okay wait four five six seven yeah so we need to expand okay i feel like we've outgrown the townhouse and we need more space we need a big yard we need a pool they honestly they've outgrown this house and they've been coming to me telling me like mom i need my own room okay as you guys know i'm transforming my room to make space for our growing family okay so I put my bed in the smallest corner like where the cobwebs are and the spiders because I don't deserve the best and I don't deserve my own room clearly I have kids come on I don't put myself first I was thinking about buying Aya a bed and putting it in my room and then having like a little curtain you know and then slick was like um no Samia doesn't get her own room she has her own room at her dad's house <laughs> As you guys know, the kids are with me for five days of the week, and then they go over to dad's for five days a week, so, you know, we co-parent. Mm -mm. I don't like it. What the is going on here? What? This. No shower curtain. No shower. That's how I built the shower at the studio. No wall. I don't like this house. It's too old. An eight-bedroom home. Yeah, we need eight bedrooms because I have a huge family, you know that Slick has a huge family now because you went to the reunion and it was so fun and they came to my house and like, yeah, they're awesome. Country folk. And then there's my Caribbean family. We need to get them together, hopefully for the wedding. Hey, hunties and hunkles, what's going on? You know, we're here in the ATL and it's boiling hot outside. Yes. And I decided to be really good in life because hell is out there. It's hot as hell. Yeah, it feels like And hell. I don't want to go there. Absolutely, so I'm gonna not. be really good for the rest of my life because this weather here reminds me of hell. So what I would, I just want to say is Wait. that I'm gonna make all the noise I can make and wake the teenager up because I, as a teenager, yeah. she parties all night. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Did you and Uncle match on purpose? Cause y'all are cute. Well, we're always cute. We don't have to match. Oh, period. A real tip. Period. <laughs> Get rid of this. What are you talking Who about? Who said to do this boba <laughs> like this? What are you, you wrapping a present or what? You don't like this, it? No, it's ugly. Just just tie it in a knot and let the string hang. Oh my God, you think you're wrapping a Christmas gift? Well, Look you, at this. Christmas is coming up and you are my gift. Okay, no, you're corny Every Christmas. Just, just, <laughs> just please. Sinead. No, I like it. <laughs> no. So it already ugly. looks like gift wrap. <laughs> Leave it I alone. Oh, jeez. I already don't really love the top already. It's so cute. Auntie Julian, you have the best style. I like this. Thank you so much. Oh, so that is cute. I'm looking for a bra that is for tomorrow night. No, for, for Wednesday. Okay. And I want it to be strapless. I need some ideas because I can't. What are you talking about? You need a strapless bra? Yeah, and it's not as easy <laughs> as you think. 
<laughs> I need a strapless bra and I've been looking for years and I can't find one. Didn't you take one of my strapless nude yeah, bras? Yeah, it was too small. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah big time i don't know where it is <laughs> oh my god but um yeah do you can you give me any help or can you give me an idea just go to the bra shop that's it anyways we have to work what do you work doing? hi uncle your work being Hello. annoying come say You're hi working to being annoying yes that too look at belly and butter. look at uncle and auntie look at you guys stand beside each other oh you so <laughs> young girls young boys oh my god no, for real. What? I just I thought you were joking, but you got on orange in the jeans. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I said. You guys are we cute. We're gonna take some pictures. pictures. Take mm -hmm. some pictures. Let me take your pictures. And they got the um the shades, the dakas. <laughs> you know what I mean? And hey. I got the black shades too. Oh, oh god, Milan will be shamed. Yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, cause she'll come with sweats on. No, you know? she's gonna go, why are you guys matching? Oh <laughs> and what about Miles? Where's he? Hey, where can I buy a, a cream? A what? A crane. A crane for what? To hold up the push up girl. <laughs> <laughs> we need a big house because we love hosting our family. And so I think that we need about eight bedrooms. So we are on the market looking for homes in Alpharetta, Duluth, Johns Creek, Marietta, you know, holla at your girl. If you're a real estate agent, start sending me your listings because we are actively looking for a home we need it and we've outgrown this place i'm just kind of scared to move right now because it's just a lot of work moving is a headache i'm pregnant i'm tired it's a life change it's a project in itself and i just want to chill buying a house ain't easy i personally don't have to move right now i'm comfortable where i am currently because the kids are gone five days and then with me for five days. So I'm okay being here. Like y'all can have your own room at your dad's house. You know what I'm saying? And then I will take my time and find something that I actually want. Slick is so excited to the point where he wants to be involved in everything. Like, and when I say everything, I mean every little thing. Like you want to pick the color of the clothing, like the color of the clothing. He wants to pick out the crib as well. He showed me this crib the other day, which I have to show you this picture. It's the cribs that have like an adjustable gate and it's so old school and I think it had wheels on it. And I'm just like, bruh, this crib is so 1960s. Like I know you're older and everything like you're, he doesn't want me to discuss that, but he's like a little, like a decade older than me. You feel me? So he's not up to the times, but I love you slick. Hey, mm -hmm. yes, grandpa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, he wants to be involved in everything. And it's the cutest thing because you know, the last time he had a child, it was about 20 something years ago. And so he's just so excited. So over the moon, he's always like listening to the baby. The baby's moving. Said no, said no problem, man. No problem, my boy. Was so the boy? No, that's what the baby said. The baby said no problem, my boy. He slipped up a few times and he kind of told me what I'm having. And then when I kind of caught him, he would switch it up and then confuse me. With all of my children, I knew the sex of the baby. I knew with every single one. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm having a girl. Oh yeah, I'm having a boy. Oh, yep, I'm having another girl. And I think that this baby is a boy. I think he's planning a gender reveal in Grenada, but we're gonna act like we don't know. Y'all, we're going to Grenada? Don't you know? Like, I'm so excited. So my girl, Nikita, she was like, ah. I'm going to Grenada and it's my birthday. We're gonna have like a little family reunion. I was like, um, where was my invite? She's like, it's a family trip, but you are more than welcome to come. I was like, absolutely, I am booking today, honey. So I got my ticket, Slick got his ticket. Well, he got our tickets and he also got Aya's ticket. So he got three tickets, you know what I'm saying? He can go ahead and plan the gender reveal with my friend and I'm just gonna act surprised. I mean, I don't know all the ins and outs of the gender reveal. Shanae, why are you hiding right now? I was just trying to be over here. Are you hiding? No. As you guys know, Shanae is 
my brain. So I just like this chair. You like the chair? Yeah. Okay. Let's bust out the people them things. Okay, and she's also my stylist, my assistant. She's my everything. <gasps> no, what are you calling me for? What the I heck, Shanae? You killed one Quisha. I thought it broke. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, just take it out the check, okay? God, Shanae. Not bon bon. Bon bon, you okay? God. Was it already leaning to the side? No, girl. It's I leaning just, now. I feel so bad. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get this up. Not bon Quisha. That's it. Her. That's her name. Oh gosh, she lost the leg. I know. You killed her. But you know what? They grow back. Do they? So it's. So look what do at you? All these little legs. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm very sorry. I feel so bad. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> They're gonna be like a toy or something. It was an accident. We were working. But she just knocked over Von Quisha. I think she killed her. We need to take her to the ER. The ER, honey. Hold on, we need to get some soil. We have to go to Home Depot now. She needs some more soil. Bon bon. She has a lot left in there. Auntie Juliet, come for a sec. I have to go to the ER. For what? Hey, hey Shanae. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. Oh, I like your hair. Cute. Great, so cute. She knocked over Bon Quisha. It was an accident. It oh, wasn't an accident. This thing here? She took out her this thing. <laughs> First of all, she's a human being and you're gonna treat Actually, her as such. Yeah, I'm surprised that you really kept this really well like this. Exactly. And so <laughs> it probably needed a little dirt change anyways. <laughs> yeah, see? See, that's what you do. This is what the plant needed, a little shuffle up. <laughs> because, oh please because you know what if i would have done that to andy julian's plant i would have got cuss yeah you would have got cuss cuss but um this oh 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 gosh andy julian i shanae look what you did <laughs> <laughs> look what you did you the lost a good legs. yeah you lost a good one a good one but that's okay it'll grow back it's a plant anyways i tea. Somebody's calling me because I'm popular. Hold on. Anyways, hunties, thank you so much for watching my um <laughs> vlog. Did you enjoy it? If you did, comment below. Let me know if you like this style of vlogging. And if you don't, let me know what you want, okay? Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my vlog. <laughs>